Un bâtiment en a burning building, thick smoke, a classic scénario for firefighters. We are in a training center in Germany. Today, scientists have joined firefighters to test a new type of robot capable of intervening in these extreme situations. Assessing the risk when visibility is very low. This is the major advantage of this robot. It was developed as part of a European research project called Smokebot to support rescue teams. The Dortmund Fire Brigade is collaborating with these scientists, expert in artificial intelligence and engineering. They made this fire training site available to test this prototype equipped with multiple sensors. The most innovative development in our project is certainly this radar camera here. This consists of a set of antennas and receivers that send and receive radar beams and try to reconstruct a 3D image of the environment. Until now, no robot was able to intervene when smoke or dust was too thick. The goal is not only to visualize a site, but also to smell it. The robot's nose is hidden in these somewhat inconspicuous boxes back here. That means he's able to smell too, because in such scenarios there could be dangerous chemicals in the air. And that's something you'd want to know about. The robot is remotely controlled via a Wi-Fi connection. In these extreme conditions, traditional sensors such as video cameras become ineffective. This is why the system collects a lot of information which, once merged, give a representation of the environment despite the lack of visibility. This includes information about the 3D appearance of the house itself, information about temperature and even gas distribution in the room. This is of course very important for the firefighters, so that they can enter a building while taking fewer risks. Despite its strengths, the system has limitations, particularly in terms of intervention. New developments are already envisaged, as well as the future deployment of other functionalities. We can only look at scenarios where we have a lot of time. The speed of mission execution is very important. This will have to be tackled in the future, for example with drones. And it cannot detect people just yet. After these initial field tests, firefighters believe that this type of robot can prove useful in tunnel fires or in the event of an accident on an industrial site where the risks are multiple. Exploration with robots can be really useful when there's damage in industrial installations, where there may be hazardous substances, where the installations are large. There are more obstacles. Unlike the furniture of an apartment, there can be machines that pass through the ceiling or the floor. Using robots, you can gain additional information that will help increase security for the emergency services. Still in the experimental stage, this new robot is not ready for the field. But in the years to come, its sensory abilities will undoubtedly become valuable allies for firefighters.